recommendation, but at the end of the day, the governor appoints every single one of them. Is that what sort of sparked this for you, or did you hear from other people who were unhappy? What, why decide to mess with the Constitution? Well, we're improving the Constitution. It's a, it's a living, breathing, dynamic document. And, uh, you know, I, I think uh, distaste, frankly, goes back decades, uh, and I'm sure bef before our time. Um, yes, the, these, uh, I think everyone knows that these, these have become the marquee political appointee jobs for, for supporters. And again, it's not to cast aspersions. There's been many good regents who are appointed, but the fact is many of them, the predominating factor seems to be their support of, of, of these governors when they ran for election. And um, I think that kind of cheapens our education system. And, and we can't look the other way anymore. We do see problems that get manifested by that, and as Senator Soule says, it creates a kind of a legitimacy in the institutions when crises arise. Um, how they got there, who are the folks making these decisions, sometimes they're being made in secret. So uh, yeah, I think there's a lot of distaste broad board. We've seen it around the state at different times. In New Mexico State, we've seen it in recent times. In UNM, we saw it kind of exacerbated a few years ago. Um, and that we need to change the system. And so what we try to come up here with here is a model that still gives the executive definitely input into these boards, gives the voters some shared input into these boards, uh, gives the public a lot of involvement in these, and that we're really democratizing these regions and bringing it down more to the citizenry. We want to put education back into education in a significant way and, uh, and bringing the educators onto these boards as well in a, in a more structured, tighter way. Um, so, so yes, there's been dissatisfaction with the way the system is. And this but is an attempt to make it better. Follow up to what Matt's asking, any particular event or decision by regents mm. that really rattled both of you, I mean, I use that term real broadly, that yeah. said, this is an indication of that problem. We need to change it. You know, um, just as I got on as a senator, I was asked about whether I thought that the legislature should interfere with the president's decisions that are going on at NMSU. And I don't think we should. I think this is the appropriate way for the legislature to try and prevent future problems without interfering with the direct hiring of our next president there. And that this helps ensure that the kinds of problems that the universities, and again, UNM a few years ago, NMSU more recently, have had just in the transparency to voters as to who's selecting the president, who is answering to or from the president. And I think this in, opens the transparency of all of that. And so I don't think there was any precipitating event. This is more preventative that we don't continue to have problems by having regions that are not accountable to voters.